What's up, everybody? Rachel West here, and I'm joined by lightning reporter Ed Encina. Ed, I'm still get, kind of getting used to that title for you. Yeah, me too. Um, what, second second week on the beat, but uh, getting used to it, and there's still, you know, despite it being the offseason, there's still a lot of stuff happening. So, um, you know, it's a little bit different than football, but uh, let's do that hockey. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. And like you say, a lot going on already, even though it's the off season, it seems like last season just ended with them making it and winning the Stanley cup. Uh, here we are already moving on to this next season. So I know the anticipated or targeted start date for the season is January 1st, but do you think things are going to kind of shape together by then? Cause that date is quickly approaching. Right. It really is. And I think that it's, it's one of these situations now where we've been waiting through a lot of ifs and ands and buts. And right now it's kind of getting to, you know, the time where uh, you have to get some decisions made and passed by the players union and the board of commissioners the league owners, probably within the next two weeks. So um, I think that's kind of going to be able to tell us really how much, how realistic a, a January 1st start date is, because, you know, just thinking about January 1st, then you also add on, uh, you know, two weeks for training camp. And, you know, some of the teams that didn't uh, return after the pause, they're going to need a little bit extra time and stuff like that. So and we're really start, started talking into like, you know, early December, really, when some teams are going to hit the ice. So you got to start getting some of this stuff going. And there's still like, like a lot of if and ands. You know, we still don't know whether, uh, you know, where games are going to be played, how long the season is going to be, a lot of that stuff. So uh, there's still a lot of stuff kind of to be determined. I expect that to kind of really start shaking out probably within the next week. You know, it, it's really got to if, if we're going to do January 1st as a start date. Yeah, makes sense. And like you say, still a lot to be determined. Once the when's pinned down, then we got to move on to the where. Looks like hub cities might be uh, the move that what the NHL is thinking. And if that is the case, Tampa is a pretty strong candidate to be one of those. Yeah, I wrote last week about or earlier this week about how Tampa is really an attractive spot for that. And, uh, you know, th there was a lot of conversation last time around when, when you know, th there was the, uh, the playoff bubble about Tampa being a hub city. That, didn't, that wasn't the case. Obviously, they went to Toronto and Edmonton for that. But um, I think when you're looking at a season starting January 1st or in the wintertime, you know, Tampa's a pretty attractive spot in terms of weather. Um, and also just, you know, you have an, an, an NHL arena that really has a lot of open dates, you know. You have a lot of the hotels that are nearby in that Water Street area, ones that are being built up for the Super Bowl. So you have a lot of those those attractive qualities. You know, Bill Daly, the deputy commissioner, told me last week, he said, you know, Tampa checks off all the marks. If we were going to go to hub cities, it's definitely a strong candidate. So, um, and that still is an if. You know, we still don't know whether, you know, it would be hub cities, whether there, there might be uh, some kind of regional realignment where uh, teams do play their home games at home but you can limit the travel. Maybe they're, they're in these little kind of packed divisions that are regionalized, you know, six to eight teams, something like that. So, um, and a big thing about that is kind of, it, it's the uh, the travel restrictions that still exist to Canada. You know, it would seem really likely that no matter what, you have a, a realigned division of all the teams in Canada where they just play up there and don't have to travel south. So I think that's kind of a big thing. And, and let's not forget that, you know, right now, whether it's this side of the border or, or the other side, is coronavirus cases are still, you know, going up right now. So I think when we think about, uh, you know, the decisions that are being made, it is a fluid situation because you have to keep all that in mind no matter what, you know, no matter how successful the bubble was and, and how much you kind of look to get, you know, get things back to normal, you still got to think about some of those things too. Exactly, yeah. And then you bring up the realignment. It seemed to work for the MLB, so maybe it would be a good idea to take a page out of their book. And you also bring up the travel restrictions, which brings us to our next point of not only do we have all of this to figure out in the NHL, but now here in Tampa, there is the possibility that the Toronto Raptors uh, may be playing out of here. Tampa may be playing host to them if they're not able to play the NBA season up in Canada. But whether or not they are here depends on what the NHL decides to do, right? Yeah, so every conversation I've had the past few weeks, like. I feel like I use this word and the people I talk to use this word and it's fluidity, right? And so it, it, there's, there's so many moving parts to this. And again, the conversation between, uh, you know, the city, 
and the NHL as opposed, in terms of being a hub city that that's been in the works for weeks to months, you know, um, and in late, late October, you know, the Raptors did approach uh, the city about potentially coming down here. You know, they're looking at all their possible uh, options. There's other cities, you know, Buffalo is one, Nashville, Kansas City, um, or a few other ones that, that they're kind of looking at as potential options in the case that they can't play games on in Canada, or at least can't start the season in Canada. So, um, you know, but again, I think that happens only if the if the Tampa isn't selected as an NHL hub city. Now, there is a possibility here that, like we said, the possibility that you can start the NHL season in home arenas, uh, where the Lightning would be able to, you know, ha- host their own home games. And and I think they think that, that that is possible, though, that you would be able to host uh, the Lightning home games and the Raptors home games at the same time. I mean, it's it's been done in numerous other cities that have two sport arenas. So uh, in Emily Arena, with, even though it doesn't host, you know, regularly host basketball, um, it could do it. So, uh, but again, I think it, it all kind of comes down to what's going to shake out in the next week or so in terms of uh, that, that NHL format and the hub cities. And then from there on, you know, we'll start seeing really what, um, you know, what happens and what can be possible. But the Raptors need a home, you know, I mean, their, their season is going to start uh, December 22nd. Uh, training camp should start December 1st. So we're looking at that schedule and that's like, you know, less than three weeks from now. So um, it's, it's getting the crunch time on both fronts, on both the NBA front and the NHL. Front. But with the way 2020 has been going, I mean, why not just add an NBA team down here in Tampa, right? Like it just seems yeah. far for the course at this point. Right. But how are we going to cover it? You know, <laughs> True. I, was yeah. like, I was like, are we going to, I'm going to cover lightning. Maybe I'll cover some Raptors too, some NBA. So uh, you, you know. didn't know what you were signing up for with this gig. <laughs> no, I, I, I definitely, definitely did not, you know, so we'll see though. I think it all kind of, we'll, we've been looking for clarity for a while now. And I think that uh, over the next, you know, seven to 10 days, we should start getting that. I mean, there, there's a, uh, a, a lot of meetings with, of the board of governors and, and the players association and stuff like that coming up. So um, in the NHL, I think, you know, we'll start to see a lot of those things. We've got to make decisions soon. That, that's the fact of the matter. Right. Yeah. Well, we'll all certainly be keeping our eyes peeled there, paying attention to what happens uh, as they make some decisions here. So everyone, be sure in order to figure or find out that information, be sure you're following along with Ed on Twitter for all of your updates. And as always, be sure you're checking out tampabay.com for your full coverage.